Welcome back. The Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas is a chance for tech companies, big and small, to showcase the best new products about to hit the market. Yep, and tech consultant and host of the Think About This podcast, Shelly Palmer, just returned from CES and joins us now with a preview. Shelly, thanks for joining us. Hey, how are you? Now, you. I'm hearing AI and TV. Yes. Actually, the most interesting thing at all of CES was the amount of artificial intelligence being used in television sets. Hmm. Now, I haven't cared about TVs at CES sure. <laughs> since, since they started flat screen. Because every year, what's new? Well, let's see. They're bigger, they're flatter, they're thinner, they're prettier, the bezel's smaller. All that's exactly. true this year, too. Yeah. Sure. Now they've introduced 8K. Remember, we had 2K, which was HD, which is what everyone's probably right. watching us in now. Then there's 4K, and there's not so much content there, except on Netflix and Disney Plus and Got Apple it. TV Plus. And now there's 8K. Of course, there's no content for 8K at all, but there is. Because the sets use, <laughs> but, wait. but wait, because the sets use artificial intelligence to upconvert whatever picture is coming in, whatever quality of picture is coming into them, to 8K. So if you want a set that's called 75, 85, 95 inches, if you want to put a theater in your house, mm -hmm. You need 8K in order not to see the dots, because the reason you need so many pixels is that you don't want to see dots like Times Square. You want it to be a beautiful, continuous tone picture. Once you get over 75 inches, you need to get to 8K. Hmm. You'd never buy it because there's no content for it, except now the artificial intelligence, the AI and the TV sets, up converts whatever picture you put in wow. and turns it into amazing. I don't mean good looking, I don't mean okay looking. I mean blow your mind, what, wait, huh? kind of pictures. So the quality is just it's incredible. Unlike anything I've but ever Shelley, seen. Shelly, first you need a wall that size. Yes, you do. <laughs> yeah. You need an entire wall. Like, I'm not saying that the average human being has a room Especially for in Manhattan. What right. kind of apartment? I, I know. But first of all, it's cool just to see TVs that size. Absolutely, that, yeah. First of all. But usually when you see a TV that size, as good as the picture is, it's like a fake picture. They made it just to show you the TV. Definitely. Right. Here, they were taking my favorite shows. They were taking movies I know that are not anywhere near the resolution to play on a set this size. It's like, oh, yeah, press this button. And it wasn't just Samsung. It was Sony and LG wow. and TCL. I mean, every company had some version of AI changing the quality of the picture. Then there was another AI story at CES that made me laugh. Uh, and I say laugh because I don't know what else to do about it. <laughs> no, seriously. Except I. Samsung yeah. introduced a new thing. I want to call it a thing. They call it an artificial. It's called Neon. And Neon is an artificial human being. It's not like Siri. It's not like Bixby. It's not like Google Home Assistant. It's not like Alexa. It's a full avatar human being. Looks like a person. It's done with the same a AI robot? technology that they use for deep fakes. Okay. So you can interact with this person that doesn't actually exist. They showed an airline worker. They showed a healthcare professional. They showed all kinds of different people you'd interact with. You know, the butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker. Oh, my God. And you're talking to it, which is not a person, but you couldn't distinguish it from a That's person. That's terrifying. Yeah. Well, it was scary. either the coolest thing or the creepiest right. thing I've ever seen. They're <laughs> exactly. cool or creepy. Yeah. You figure it out. Yeah, you so decide. CS had some, some tricks this year, for sure. So That's cool. Awesome. And Shelly, you can check you out on this podcast. Oh, please do. Think about okay. this Think with Shelly Palmer and Ross Martin. Yep. Awesome. Number, so number five in the Apple Store. Awesome. Congratulations. Thanks, Thanks so Shelley. much.